Right, welcome back to Train Mechanic Simulator. Now, I've been told by a comment on the. Oh, God, I've got to spend money. I can upgrade. Where is it? Where do I upgrade? Oh, down here. No. Where do I upgrade? I can't remember where I, go. Where I upgrade now. Is it up here? No. Where was it? I can't remember where I upgrade. What was there? Okay, well, accept this job. The locomotive is stopped on the tracks and cannot move. It appears that there is a problem with the traction motors. It must be towed to the workshop to make repairs. Right, okay, so... But I swear that was where you... Done, done the upgrade. Uh, parts, warehouse, tablet... Ah, tablet, isn't it? I think. Yeah, tablet. Right, so we can improve that. We can improve that. We can improve that. We can't improve that, so, right. And where is it? Trucks in square A4. So we'll go to A4. As I was saying, um, I had a comment on the... I think it's video number three of the series. Um, saying that if I use option three... Right, A4. A... It's not A4, is it? Yeah, A4. Right, okay, so A... A4, so it's... Over here somewhere. So, right, so we've got to go left and then down this way. Uh, if I use the option number three, you've got option one, which is to dismantle, option two is to assemble, so option three should allow me to examine parts before taking them off. Taking them off. I think it was Road... I'll have to check, but I think it was Roadrunner. I meant to check before I started recording this video, and then I forgot. But I will check in a Let's get this train back to the yard first. Then I will check it then. Right, come on, so we're going down here. So it's in this area here, so... Yeah. station there though. Be station there, but it's not. Right, so it's in this area. Now it's going to be there or there, so we'll have to find out when we get there, but... Power! Go 
we'll try going left first so we can't see it, but it should give us an indication of where it is. There should be a red circle around it somewhere. It should be. Right, sorry, there's a green green circle around it, so it's right here then. Get it on the tracks again now. Right, so up. Now, was it too lower? Line is that one. I'm going to sit on the tracks this time. Right, so why isn't it letting me line it up? Oh, right, okay, so it's a bit skew if. Press and see to unhedge it, but he won't let me.
Let's get jiggy with it a little bit. Move it over a little bit more. Pretty close to the tracks to me. I'm just actually sitting on the tracks. Do I turn it right the right way? Or turn it around all the way? Yeah, yeah. That's why. Because that's why I got to tilt it up. Why is it going to be that way? Make any difference really. It takes 10 minutes to turn it around, it's so fudging slow. That's why, because there's the front of the cab there, and the cab, that part was facing that way. I should have noticed that really, shouldn't I? Duh! Right, come on, turn. Come on, so we've got a long ass drive back to the yard, so come on. There we go. Right, let's find out who it was that sent that message. Just so I can, see, I can give me a shout out. Roadrunner1981 commented on... The Let's Play video series number three of the um, Train Mechanic Simulator. He says, if you use option three, you can test the parts before removing them. That will save you lots of time taking everything off to check it. Just take out the damaged parts, laughing out loud. Well, I think I tried that, so I replied back to him saying, thank you for your information, but I think I tried this when not recording. I didn't seem to work. I'll give you give a shout out to you on part six and test this again. Cross fingers it works. Fingers crossed it works. So yeah. So right, we're gonna back to the depot now. So we're gonna go back down the way we came. So it's in reverse. So we're with the lake the west lake, we just got to get the turn right, that's all. But I do actually, I'm actually impressed with this game, very impressed with it. My frames do drop a little bit on the outside, but... Averaging about 55 frames. Even though I am recording as well using fraps, which takes quite a few. I know we got 120, 130 frames, but. Right, we got the right turn coming up. So we've went left, we've crashed into other train. We don't go left. Slow it down a bit because when we get to this next part now, we got to get this to turn right. There we go. I love a horn. 
I should go past this junction here now and then get to turn left so we can drive straight into the diesel engine depot then. I wouldn't like to have this train company for my transport needs, mine, because this one keeps breaking down and they crash in all the time. And go to repair, right. So we get it back in now, we'll have a look and see what the repair order says. And then we can go from there then. And we'll try out option three. Right, find the cause of the defect in the traction motors. Right, so... See, you click on it, and it's not checked, so you can't, you can't do anything. It doesn't tell you the damn how much everything is damaged. See, not checked, not checked, not checked, not checked. But I've got a feeling this cyst is going to be the problem. See, not checked. So what you'll have to do is disassembly, take that off, take that off. I did say it didn't work, just to check if you got everything off, I think. Right, see, engine mounted, so you can't do anything with it. Even though I've actually unscrewed it, you can't do anything with it, so... I've got to take that out first. No? Oh, I suppose that bolt down there. Set uh, drive gear, drive mountain, so we should have the yeah, drive gear, electric motor, and engine mounted, right? So we should be able to repair, see how much we repair these mechanical. It's a chance of repair, right? That's a chance of repair is 100% on that. So we repair that. Chances are 100% on that, so we repair that. It's 100%, so we repair that as well. And um, what else is it? That's the other thing, that drive gear. It costs 30,000 30, to repair it. Are you dreaming? I'm just a drive gear. It's 46,000. Yes. 
Right, so we'll go back into the inventory. And we'll sell that, because we've got a brand new one there. Drive gear, we should have a brand new one. There it is, but there. So we'll sell that to make $6,000 back. And we'll go back into the assembly mode. Oh, is, it, is that under the last wheels, that is? It's the back we're going to do, at the front. Yeah. So we're going to accept it's the installation mode. Is it here? No, oh, sorry, it must be the other end. Yeah, here we go. Select that. Put the motor in. And put the cover in. And put the actual shaft in. In that. In that. Is that it? Is that all the parts? Yep. So you can only check parts once you've taken them off. See, now these are in green because I've took these, these ones I just put back together. I am taking that apart, so it still says down here. Look, see, by the bottom left hand corner, not checked. So, okay. Right, that's that job done. So let's go to that. Finish order. So she'll get a nice pretty penny for that. A thousand. Right, we'll end that video there and I will sort out what we got next. Right. Right, so we'll do that on the next one. So I will see you in a couple of minutes.